I hope you noticed that the two examples that I did with rates, I only changed the units of one of the measurements on the fraction. The first example, I changed the unit measurements on the top of the fraction. This example, I changed the unit measurements on the bottom of the fraction. But sometimes you're going to have to change both units uh, of measurement in the rate. So for example, convert 146,600,000 kilometers over 365 days into miles over hour. Clean this up a little bit so you can visualize what I see. I kept this first fraction exactly the same, but then this, I wrote it neatly like a fraction. So look what I want. I want how many miles over one hour. And if you look at the two fractions, the units on the top and the units on the bottom, they're different than what I was asked. So I'm changing both units of measurement in the rate. Okay, this rate was given. Now I want to multiply by something, maybe more than one fraction. So I get at the end miles over hours. That's what I want. Okay, so one of the first thing I want to do is I want to find uh, what I need in this case is find how many miles are in a kilometer or vice versa and how many hours are in a day. So what do I need? Well, the first thing I need to do is I want to get rid of this kilometer here. So I need to find out how many kilometers are in a mile or vice versa. And I found out that one mile is 1.609 kilometer. Okay, from that conversion statement, I get my two fractions. Which of these two fractions will cancel out the word kilometer that is on the top? It will be the first fraction. And that's what I put there. I hope you notice the word kilometers cancel out. Now look, on the top, only word left is mile. But on the bottom, I still have days. But the answer that I want is an hour. So I want to also cancel the word days. I'm going to have to multiply by another fraction. But what do I need? Well, I need to know how many hours are in a day or vice versa. And I know that in one day there's 24 hours and I can get from this conversion statement my two fractions. Now because days is on the bottom here, I want to know which of these two I can use so the word days cross out and that will be the first one. Okay, because the word day is on the top, cancels out with the word days on the bottom. Now look for the word that is left on the top, miles. Look for the word left on the bottom, hours. Look, that's exactly what I want my answer. Now let's multiply top with top, bottom with bottom, simplify. Look how big those numbers are. But remember, you need to divide your answer. Divide the top, divide by the bottom. And this is what I get as my final answer. And I hope you notice I changed the units on the top of the fraction and the units on the bottom of the fraction. That's what I needed more fractions to multiply by. A fraction to cancel out the words on the top and another fraction to cancel out the word on the bottom. It's time for you to check if you understood this process of multiplying rates so try this problem out, hit the pause button, work it out, and when you're ready, hit the play button to check yourself. All right, now the good thing in this problem, they gave me everything that I need so I can change 450 centimeters per minute into miles per hour. So first thing is I want to write the given rate as a nice fraction. See? So 450 centimeters per minute is written 450 centimeters on the top, one minute on the bottom. Miles per hour, it means I don't know how many miles for every hour. That's how you write MPH as a fraction. Now that I see what was given to me and what do I want at the end, I notice that the top in the given measurement was centimeter, but my answer is going to be miles. 
So I'm going to need to convert centimeters to miles. I also noticed that the bottom minutes is changed to hours in the answer. So I'm going to have to do conversion of minutes into hours. So let's start. What was given? 450 centimeters over one minute. Okay, so I'm going to write it first. Now, I want to cancel out the word centimeter. Now, how do I change the centimeters into miles? Well, I'm going to need uh, how many centimeters are in a mile, but there's nothing available here. However, I have centimeters into inches. That's why I'm going to take this conversion statement. I'm going to get my two fractions. And I'm going to choose which one of these cancel out the word centimeter. And that will be the first fraction. Okay. You can see the word centimeter cancel out. Now my word left on the top is in inches. But I don't want inches. I want miles. So I need to find or I need to multiply by another fraction. So the word inches cancel out. And that's when I look up here and I notice that inches can be converted into feet. So that's what I'm going to get my two fractions from this conversion statement. And I'm going to choose which of these two will cancel out the word inches that is on the top of this fraction. And that will be the first one. And you can see the word inches cancel out. Now I have the word feet on the top, but I don't want feet on the top. I want miles. So that means I had to cancel out the word feet by multiplying by a fraction that has the word feet on the bottom. And that's what I use this last conversion statement. And I'm going to get the two fractions from there and choose the one that cancels out the word feet that is on the top here. And it will be the second one. And I hope you notice that the word feet cancel out. Now you can see that I have left the word mouse on the top. In my answer, I have the word mouse on the top. However, I need to look at my work and check if I have hours left on the bottom. And when, look, when I look on the bottom, I have the word minute. And no, I cannot have the word minute on the bottom because my answer, I want hours on the bottom. So I have to still think, what else do I need? And I'm going to need uh, the conversion of minutes into hours and when I look it up I found out that one hour is equal to 60 minutes from that conversion statement I'm gonna get my two fractions now I want to cancel out the word minutes that is on the bottom here so I need to figure out which of these two fractions has the word minutes on the top and that will be the second one that's what I'm gonna put here multiply by now the word minute cancel out with the word minutes and when you look the bottom, the only word left is hour. When you look on the top, the only word left on the top is miles. So I got what I wanted, miles on the top and hours on the bottom. Now we're going to multiply top with top, bottom with bottom. I'm going to simplify, in other words, do the multiplication, look at the big numbers I got. I'm going to divide the top number by the bottom number and I get 0.17 miles per hour. 